Hello everyone, my name is Karen and welcome to the first episode of Beauty Basics for Filipinos. So what is this all about? This is actually a series of videos wherein I will be sharing with you my knowledge with the basic skincare and makeup application. So based on my experience kasi as a makeup artist so far for almost 4 years na rin, Meron pa rin akong na-encounter na mga tao na hindi sila aware about their skin type or bumibili sila ng certain skincare or makeup products pero hindi nila alam kung para saan ba yun or kung paano gamitin. So, pag-uusapan natin lahat ng yon in the simplest way possible. But of course, meron pa rin akong mga imemension na mga technical or scientific terms. But don't worry, i-explain ko naman sila lahat. So, meron na rin siguro kayong napanood na other videos before na medyo similar dito. But, you know, just to remind you, this is just my approach of teaching. This is my way of sharing my own knowledge. So, if you're a beginner with skincare and makeup, I hope may matutunan kayo. On the other hand, if you already know things about skincare and makeup tapos gusto niya lang ng additional knowledge who knows, baka may mention ako na hindi niya pa alam then just keep on watching so let's begin the first episode by talking about our main canvas which is the skin so just a reminder I'm not a skincare expert I'm also not a dermatologist so all of the information that I will be mentioning are based on my own learnings as a makeup artist, also with the readings and other resources na napagkuhanan ko. So, today's discussion will be about understanding our skin better, what are the different skin types, and the basic skincare routine or how to take good care of our skin. So, magkakaroon muna tayo ng mini science class today about the skin. So skin is the largest organ of our body. So it serves as a protective shield against um, external factors like heat, light, injury, infection, and entry of bacteria. Skin also regulates the body temperature and it also stores water and fat. So there are three main parts of the skin, namely the epidermis, dermis, and hypodermis. So epidermis is the outermost layer of the skin and it provides a waterproof barrier and is also responsible for our skin color. Si dermis naman, so it's underneath the epidermis. Dermis is held together by a protein called collagen. So, si collagen yung nagbibigay sa skin natin ng flexibility and strength. Si dermis din, um, it contains connective tissues, hair follicles, and sweat glands. Last but not the least, hypodermis. It's the deepest layer of the skin that consists of a network of collagen and fat cells. It also helps conserve the body's heat and protects our body from injuries. Sa skin din natin, may tinatawag na desquamation process wherein it's a process na nakikreate yung skin cells, umaakit siya sa epidermis, nagiging dead skin cells, and napapalitan siya ng bago. Napapansin niyo minsan, bakit sa ibang tao, mas madami yung moisture na pinoproduce ng skin nila, bakit yung iba less or bakit yung iba parang patchy yung skin and that is because we all have different skin types so when it comes to skin type it's based on genetics so for example if yung parents mo oily skin most likely oily skin type ka din and you can have either one or two combinations of different skin types and your skin type can also change depending on the weather, lifestyle, food intake, and age. So let's first talk about the normal skin type. Actually, mahirap to define yung normal skin for adults, but we can assume na 
nung bagong panganak tayo or during our childhood days, normal yung skin type natin. Kumbaga, nag-develop lang yung skin natin as we grow older. So, si oily skin type naman, siya yung skin type na nagpaproduce ng excessive sebum and large din yung pores. And one of the main reasons why sobra yung oil production niya is because kulang ng water or ng tubig yung skin. Si oily skin type din yung normally prone to acne and breakouts. So si dry skin type, opposite naman siya ng oily. Very tight yung skin and medyo closed yung pores. Normally sila din yung mga skin na medyo may mga dry patches. And the reason why dry yung skin nila is because kulang naman sa oil yung skin nila. And we also have what we call the combination skin which is basically combination ng oily and ng dry. So normally kapag combination yung skin ng isang tao, very oily yung center ng face and then dry yung outer parts of the face. So, based on the things na diniscuss ko kanina about the different skin types, siguro may idea na kayo about your own skin type. So, there are four basic ways of how we can take good care of our skin. So, we cleanse, we tone, moisturize, or hydrate, and then we put on sunscreen. So, when it comes to cleansing, it's basically just removing the excess dirt and makeup na nasa surface of the skin. So, you can use either a cleansing water or micellar waters and yung mga facial cleansers or facial wash. Cleansing also helps para ma-remove yung excess oil, sweat, and syempre yung mga dead skin cells na nasa surface ng skin natin. So, after cleansing our skin, we now move on to toner. So, toners provide additional cleansing. It also provides additional nutrients to the skin. And it also balances out the pH level of our skin. So, yung pH level kasi ng skin natin, naapektohan siya minsan kapag sobrang harsh ng cleanser na ginagamit natin. And si toner, siya yung nakakapagbalik nung kumbaga, ideal pH level of our skin. So, after toning the skin, we now move on to moisturizing or hydrating our skin. So, moisturizing and hydrating are two different things. When we say moisturize, nag tayo ng oil sa skin. And when we say hydrate, nag tayo ng water sa skin. So, kapag very dry yung skin type mo, kailangan mo talagang mag-moisturize by using products that are normally with the heavy cream or lotion type of formulation. Kapag on the oily side ka naman, it's best to hydrate the skin. So you're adding water and normally hydrating products are the ones na water-based or gel-based yung formulation. And last but not least, we sun protect or apply sunscreen. So, here in the Philippines, feeling ko ito yung pinaka-neglected na skincare product. Kasi most people, feeling nila kapag nagsuot sila ng sunscreen, when they take photos, nagkakara ng white cast. Which is sometimes true. Meron kasi yung dalawang different types of sunscreens, which is the mineral sunscreen, or sometimes called physical. And meron din tayong tinatawag na chemical sunscreen. Common ingredients with mineral sunscreens is yung tinatawag nating titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. So, ang ginagawa niya sa skin natin, when we apply it, nire-reflect niya yung UV rays sa skin natin. And the reason why nagkakaroon siya ng parang white cast sa skin is because medyo heavy yung formulation niya and normally, ito yung mga sunscreens na parang white paste. When it comes to chemical sunscreens naman, ito yung type of sunscreen na medyo mas madaling i-layer under makeup kasi mas lightweight yung formulation. So, ang function naman ng chemical sunscreen is that pag na-apply siya sa skin, 
inaabsorb niya yung UV rays and then parang ina-evaporate niya into air yung mga harmful rays of the sun. Although, hindi masyadong nakaka-white cast yung mga chemical sunscreens, hindi naman siya ganun ka-advisable isuot or i-apply sa skin kapag magbe-beach tayo. Kasi syempre, chemical pa rin yun. Kumbaga, you're contributing chemicals to the water. And syempre, makaka-apekto yun sa mga isda and sa kung ano mga creature na nandun sa dagat and sa mga coral reefs. So, kung magsiswimming kayo, magbe-beach kayo, it's best na mag-mineral sunscreen. So, here are a few reminders before we finally end. Know your skin type, understand your skin better, and check the skincare products that you have. So, tingnan niyo kung kailangan niyo ba talaga yung mga skincare products na to, or check niyo if itong mga products ba na to appropriate siya for your skin type. On the next episode, we'll start na tayo with the makeup application and of course, we'll start with the base makeup. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, kindly put it in the comment section below. For more updates, follow me on Instagram and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll be updated with my uploads on this channel. Once again, this has been Karen, and I'll see you guys soon.